Well, welcome back guys. Got another one with a Honda. It's a 07 Accord with a 2.4 K24. And it's got an intermittent no start. Intermittent no crank no start, specifically. So we're gonna do a five minute starter test. Starting now. So this is how I keep the Pico, like I've showed before. Keep it wrapped up, ready to go. S beaner. So we're gonna go battery voltage. A lot of times I'll try to move it a little bit to get a good contact if it's dirty. So we just need that. And an amp clamp. High amperage, 2000 amps max. So current, they split the positive side so I can't get around both. I mean, I could go right to the starter, but um, just for the sake of it, for this video, it's a good practice to go around all the wires going to one terminal. So we're gonna go on the ground side, current going towards the battery because it's uh, a positive um, conventional flow positive to negative turn it on to 2000 amps right now it is zeroing it calibrating I shouldn't even call this a five minute test it's a more of a two minute test if you're all ready to go Maybe three minutes at the most. So Pico opens. I'm only using two channels. First channel is volts. Second channel is my amp. So I'm gonna change it to 2000 amps current clamp. That's pretty much it. Time base to one second per division. So I have a 10 second screen. I'm gonna up my sample rate. So this is one microsecond right there put a trigger single page it is only going to record one page i'm going to put it on b so it's on the current move it over here so i'm going to put it on the first division 10 percent they call it right now it's at 150 amps so i'm going to go down to 50 doesn't really matter so what that means is once you can see it's recording live but it's not going past that. Once this red goes past that yellow mark, it'll start recording and it'll... So I don't know why my GoPro beeped at me, but it did. So I was saying that once this red goes past this yellow, it'll start recording. Oh, it's stopping recording because Jesus Christ, that is so annoying. It's stopping filming because I keep saying recording. Okay, I didn't do it that time. That is off. Okay, that was so stupid. Problem solved. So don't don't say a record with an ing on it, or else it stops. Goddamn GoPro. So, anyways, it's collecting data, and once it passes the threshold of the trigger, then it'll collect the data on the whole page and then I have it on single page so it'll stop I don't have to hit stop and then it's stuck on that page and uh, we're looking for a good waveform here a clean a clean waveform specifically and I do this test because usually on these Hondas with intermittent problems you do this test and you'll see the problem and it's not gonna be clean so I'll do that all we got to do is crank it Start the engine. It sounded kind of normal, kind of not though. My scales are off. I'm gonna fix my scales, but I could already see the problem. So I went, I only need a five second screen really only need two seconds 
So I'm gonna make it a five second screen. 500 milliseconds, and I usually do this too. I forgot to change it from a 2000 scale to a 1000 scale. It's a 2000 scale on, on the amp clamp, but on the scope, most starters are only about five, 600. Um, I've seen one go to 900, that was the most I've seen. So a thousand amps, you're gonna be right there in there. You're gonna capture the whole thing. So let's go again. And there we go. Much better. Let me save this and then we'll go look at it in better light. Blue's battery voltage, 12.3. Start a current to get the crankshaft moving. Five eighty. Once the crankshaft's moving, peak to peak, it takes 256. Average between the peak and the valley, 205. But the bigger problem we're seeing on this current is, see how it looks color, color filled in? Look at that. This current on the starter should be sustained no dropping out so zoom in more and that's what it's looking like the current should be up here staying sustained but it's dropping out to ground it's going open in the windings so i got the snap-on probe for our shop varus i just did that so that's what it looks like on a varus or any snap-on scope so you be the judge of what scope you want. This is working, but which one has better detail? This one costs 10,000, 12,000 or so. Pico costs 2,000. Granted, this has a scanner in it, but you get a soulless edge for three grand, four grand. Pico for two grand, three grand with all the adapters and then said 2500 and then you get the WPS of 3500 um, plus a $3,000 solo so you're looking at 6000 6500 this is 10 grand Pico's gonna be the optimal choice in my opinion but you can get it done with snap-on if your shop has it and you can't afford your own hell I know I started off with the shit That baby right there. The shop Solus original actually right there. That's my uh, Instagram <sighs> thumbnail. And the shop Vantage Pro. That was my starting diagnostic equipment right there, baby. New starter in. Old starter. Engine's running. My little Miho went ahead of me. He's a clamp. I wanted to film him setting it up and capturing the after. So there we go. There's what the after looks like on the snap on. On the Varus. Not bad, relative compression, dee 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 dee. But it, honestly, it doesn't look that great on a snap on scope. We'll see with the peak go. So, so before, we stopped. All I'm gonna hit is space bar. Now we're running. Hit the start motor. And there we go. 
not color filled in anymore. The new one's pulling more amps. Jesus Christ. Uh, 811 amps. Jesus Christ. That is a lot. And the peak to peak on the relative compression when it's stable is about 200, so that's less. Voltage is more stable on the blue. So that's what that looks like. Versus snap on. You be the judge of what scope you want to buy. Okay, that's it. She's fixed. And another one in the books. Diagnostic Dennis out.